Hey guys, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and replace this hair bag right here. So um I need to remove this hair bag guys. So what you wanna do is disconnect the battery in the front. So as you can see, no battery here. Ignition go on and off, nothing come on the dash, so the battery is disconnected already. This is a simple job, so I don't believe I need to show you that. And also, we're gonna locate this um, pin right here, for this hole right here, one right here, one at the bottom right here, and one on the other end right here. So we're gonna take off the one at the bottom first since that's gonna be the easiest to, well, not the easiest, but the, um, what should I say? It will make it ease, more easier to come out than remove these two top one then the bottom one gonna get stuck but if you remove the bottom one the top one won't get stuck all right so let's do that so yeah guys you want to get in the hole and look for the little tub and push it in once you push it in you will see the bottom part come loose just like that you want to look for the tub over here also And push it in and look for the tab on the far side once you push it in that will come up and this one I didn't get this one I might have to use a shorter pick or I can just turn the steering like that turn the steering give you more room to work find that pick right here and push that in and then you will see that everything comes out just like that you can turn it over so guys let me show you what I was doing alright so I was just pushing the I was pushing this through here so you can see you see that right there so when you look through the holes, this is what you're gonna see right here. And that's what you're gonna push in to get it loose, all right? So that's what you see me looking for. And that's what you see me find. It's pushing this right here. So, when you get into an accident because it's like real fire and explosion goes off in here all right guys so on the plug you will see that the plug is melt don't even waste your time try to try to take it off it won't work you might you're gonna have to order a clock spring so you're gonna have to get a clock spring I have a video of me doing a clock spring already so you can go ahead and look for that video or I might link it in the description but um if you don't want to go to the get go to the um go through all that to get a clock spring what you can do is cut the wires right here and when you're putting them back make sure you put them back as how they're supposed to go all right so you have two green wire but one of the green wire go on this blue so wrap the green and the blue together wrap it around and wrap the yellow and the green together also and that will make you remember which way it goes since they come in pair so when you get your new or you can get it from the junkyard if you want however you want it if you want to get it from the dealer if you want to get it from the junkyard it's gonna cost you um less i should say because you can cut this off and get the connection from the one from the junkyard the one from the dealer if you buy it from the dealer you're gonna have to get the clock spring i don't know if you want to cut your brand new clock spring <laughs> and put it and just add this or you have to change the whole um 
the whole clock spring if you don't want to cut your clock spring so we're just gonna squeeze this wire right here this is for your horn and we're gonna cut these wires and wrap them with each other so they stay in there so they stay in their pair all right guys so that's what i'm talking about when i said um get them wrapping their pairs as you can see that's how they come out so that way you don't mix up both green wires even though they have different shades of green but you know you don't want to mix both of them up so that's what i'm talking about and the next step is to get your new one so now you can what you can do you can take this to the dealer and match it as well as you can get the number off here you can get the number off here and um you can get the number off here and then you can match it that way or you can bring the whole complete thing make sure it is what it is because some cars some hyundai they bring one one plug on the back and some one they bring two so you want to make sure of which one you have once you do that you order your parts and then you can get the new one and put it in so guys um i finished with this this is the old one right here this is the new one basically once you connect all your wires you just line it back up and push down on it so once you push down on it um you can go ahead and connect the the battery and that will take care of that so i'm gonna connect the battery and see so i don't know what you guys did if you guys change the clock spring or you join the clock spring that's up to you i'm not recommending anything right there so let's get to the connecting of the battery all right guys so we connect the battery we're gonna go ahead and start the car and we're gonna see if the airbag gonna go off so it goes off and come back on so we gotta scan it and make sure that everything is good and once everything is good you just clear the code and you're good to go so peace out guys please like comment share subscribe to the channel now you know how to change your your airbag